Hey folks, it's Ray at DCRainmaker.com here. And today I've got the Mavic 3 with a wind test. The winds right now are gusting at about 30 miles an hour, so between 50 and 60 kilometers an hour, depending on the gust. That's measured both on my little handy handy wind sensor, as well as the wind sensor at the top of the pier, just right above me there. Uh, now, I don't want to waste your time, I'm sure to get this thing right in the air. Uh, first off, this video is definitely not sponsored. I bought this aircraft just a few hours ago, got it all updated, and this is actually its, its first and hopefully not last flight. We'll start recording on the actual aircraft itself. There we go. And up we go. So not too bad. It's, it's holding roughly, uh, give or take, steady-ish. I'll get it back out so you can see what it looks like here. Um, so right now it's in normal mode, uh, and it's going to use its ground proximity sensors. If you can go a little bit forward there, there we go. Hopefully you can see that on the camera there. It's kind of hard for me to tell, but it's going to use its ground proximity sensors when it's this close to the ground to keep right above it. And then once we go above, I believe it's eight meters or so, it'll use GPS from that point forward. You can see I've got full GPS signal right there. Uh, so at this point, we're ready to roll. Uh, the wind is coming from behind me, so we're gonna try going into the wind out uh, along the pier. Normally I would do these videos from the pier itself, uh, but in this particular case, the pier is actually closed because it's too dangerous because it's too windy. So we'll go ahead and turn this around and see if we can get on out there. Not too bad. So this is a normal mode, pretty smooth at this point. Uh, no issues in terms of maintaining height. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit higher here. There we go. You can see, looking really, really nice. Right now recording in a 5K, I've got the strong wind warning. Uh, that's just gonna be the norm for today. So recording in a 5K30 uh, onto an SD card there. This is the regular Mavic. There we go. We'll, just, we'll just hang right here for a quick second and see how this looks. Now what we can do is we can bring it over the pier and I'll use the gimbal and move the gimbal down to show how stability works on the gimbal itself. And I've got the auxiliary lights turned on as well, but the Mavic 3 is a beast to be honest. Like it is so big and so easy to see compared to something like the Mini SE or one of the other drones there. So at this point, uh, we'll just get over here, over the pier and I'll point it straight on down. Here we go. Go up a little bit, just gain some altitude. There we go. Pull it back. So you can see there, super smooth. I'm just gonna go ahead and just stop, pause it right there for a second. Uh, and at this point, you have no idea that the winds are gusting upwards of 60 kilometers an hour and above, uh, in fact. And so, I mean, this is astounding. It looks like it's just simply hung there uh, perfectly still. If I bring it back and really center this frame right out, there we go. Uh, that, that's what we're talking about. Uh, in fact, we can go now into the slow-mo mode if we want to and perhaps we can capture the, some video there. So I'm going to stop that recording. I'm going to change modes into slow motion. And we'll go down to the bottom here. And we have a 4K 120, uh, 1080p 120, or Cinema 4K 120. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to go with 4K 120, fill that entire screen. There we go. Just hold that for a couple seconds. Get some nice, pretty slow motion right there. Then we'll go ahead and we're going to turn this around. Uh, now, in fact, actually, I've got something I want to go see. You'll see this in a second. I've got a, uh, looks like a Harbor Master boat coming in. So I'm going to go catch up with him. I'm going to bring this into sport mode. Get this back onto the view here. Let me get this uh, wind warning out of the way. See if I can catch back up to him. Full sport mode right now. At this point, 20 meters a second. I'm screaming, but he's moving pretty darn quick. impressive right there. So I'm going to turn this back around and I want to get back out to another Harbormaster boat way out there as well as the uh, one of the towers, the light towers coming in the harbor. So about now you may be asking what is the maximum wind speed on the Mavic 3? And I'm glad you asked. Uh, so the maximum allowable wind speed according to my notes right here is 43 kilometers an hour. Yeah, we're, we're beyond that. Uh, however, what's more important is the maximum allowable speed. I want to plop this right there. Just, uh, we'll hang them out right there for a second. The maximum allowable speed of the aircraft itself, fastest it can go, is 68 kilometers an hour. Uh, and when it comes to drone testing, that's what really actually matters. Bring this down a little bit lower. Yeah, I'm gonna do some nice 120 frame per second stuff right here, uh, so we can get that and see how that looks. But what I want 
want to do right now though is to go ahead and show you one of the tracking modes, one of the automated modes. Uh, so we're going to go ahead into the quick shots. And Quick Shot is not there on the Mavic 3 yet. This is one of the umpteen features of the Mavic 3 uh, that is not going to be available until January. I thought they'd leave the old Quick Shots mode in there, but uh, that is not the case. Can we at least do Master Shots? Nope, no Master Shots, no, no nothing. It's like this thing wasn't ready to ship or something. Um, so I'm going to do it by hand. I'm going to hand fly this right now. Uh, we'll see how my hand fly skills are with this, uh, the first flight. So normally I just, you know, you know, tap that, but I can't do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and record this and let's see if I can pull this off in this wind by hand. Here we go. My hands are so cold right now, by the way. Oh, this isn't too bad. Just, I'm making this work. This is not bad for being hand flown with frozen hands right now. Uh, cracking voice and, uh, you know, 60 km an hour wind. So it is not as perfect as the aircraft can usually do out here in these winds. Usually it is flawless, but none of these features are here. Like this is crazy. You're, you're paying, I paid 2,100 bucks uh, this morning, Euro. So it's like, I don't know. It's a lot of US dollars for this. Uh, and I, it's, it's not quite perfect in terms of my, my flying. This is definitely on me. This is not the aircraft. I'm over committing a little bit because my hands are like shivering right now. There we go. I think that that is pretty decent. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'm just going to get some shots though, a little bit closer, bring it down. Uh, in fact, actually, let's go ahead and use right now that zoom lens. So I'm going to zoom in here. There we go. I'm going to bring it in to bring up the frame rates. That's the max I can do. I guess this is, uh, there we go. So this is at uh, 4K 30 with the 4X zoom. Uh, and if I go to 7X, which is the max optical zoom, this is where it switches into the secondary lens uh, at that 7X point right there. Uh, so there we go. How cool is that? That's that's an awesome shot. Uh, I could go higher than that. You know, I could bounce uh, into uh, basically what is digital zoom if I went now to 14X or 28X. Uh, but honestly, that doesn't... I don't know, that doesn't look really too great to me. Um, so the way this works from a zooming standpoint is that 1x there uh, means that you're on the main camera lens, 2x is digitally cropped on the main camera lens, 4x is digitally cropped on the main camera lens, uh, and then 7x now jumps to the secondary zoom lens. But just look at this, you would never know right now that I am in 60 km an hour winds. This looks like it's on a tripod up there. This is insane. Uh, so I'm gonna back out a little bit, fix the gimbal. I mean, look at that. I'm not gonna lie, that's, that is incredibly impressive and incredibly cool right now to see that. Like that is, that looks awesome. Uh, I just feel like leaving it there. And we're only, at, we've used that 55% of the battery in 16 minutes, uh, so I mean, we can stay in it for like 15 minutes. And we will, because there's another cargo ship coming in there that I want to try to capture uh, coming in here. And by the way, this is a good time to know, if you're finding this video interesting and useful, simply whack that like button at the bottom there or subscribe for plenty more smart technology goodness, including plenty more Mavic 3 stuff. I've got a number of tests coming up where I really push into the limits like this. That's what I do. I'm not like soft kid loving any of these sort of products. Uh, so you're going to see how they actually work in real world conditions. Okay, so at this point, we're going to go and catch that freighter over there. I'm going to cut in front of him. Uh, again, I'm all in sport mode and all this right now. And I'm going to be on this side of him once I film him just so I know where he is tracking wise. There we go, just doing that nice slow pullback of that. Uh, looks pretty incredible. I'll go ahead and I'll pop this right there. Uh, and at this point, like from a stability standpoint, usability standpoint, I am easily moving around here as if there's no wind at all. It doesn't feel like there's any wind from an aircraft control perspective. Uh, this is super, super easy right now. Again, we'll go ahead and we'll pop into the spotlight mode uh, to zoom ourselves out there. And let's just go all the way down to 7X on the bow. as I keep on going. There we go. This is all on the uh, secondary lens at kind of its like uh, base level of zoom. In fact, just for fun, let's go ahead and zoom all the way in. 28x into that there and see what's going on on the bridge. A bit tough to track this right now. 
for the last act, I see that pilot boat coming in there. So I'm gonna go swing back out to him and see if I can get some great shots of him down a bit lower here in this case to really kind of emphasize these waves. Now, of course, normally if he's going out, it's a little more impressive. Uh, so we'll just have to deal with the fact that he's coming in, but that's fine. Okay, so one of the things to keep in mind when you're looking at sort of stability of the drone itself, for the most part, in all of my testing with DJI drones over all these years, doing this many, many years of testing, uh, the actual aircraft stability is fine as long as you're below the maximum aircraft speed itself. So in sport mode in particular, that's the speed and the number you're looking for. Uh, still, a couple of general tips from a safety and kind of like getting your drone back standpoint. Uh, number one, always fly out into the wind and then always have a buffer to get back. So the wind is coming towards me, coming towards the beach. So at worst, I just go and end up on the beach somewhere and have to walk away and get it. No big deal. Second, always give yourself a little bit of buffer. Uh, today I've got about a 10 kilometer or so buffer uh, between the uh, current wind speed, about 60 kilometers an hour, and the maximum uh, airspeed, about 70 kilometers an hour of the Mavic 3. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty comfortable with that. Uh, and I'm also comfortable with these conditions and I understand how it works. So I'm not too worried about it. And then lastly, as a tip, if you get yourself in trouble, one of the keys is to get low to the ground. Uh, the higher up you go, the higher the wind speeds, the lower you are, uh, the better chance you have of getting back. Uh, so at this point, it really wants me to get back. So I will go ahead and bring this back on home. Uh, you know, we're at, uh, how long are we out here now? A ways, we've been out here a while. So we'll bring it on back. I'm gonna pop it out of sport mode, bring it back into normal mode here. Just to make this a little bit stabler coming in. There we go, he's no problems at all, this little buddy. Look at him, <laughs> he's crazy. Now, I gotta get a thumbnail photo, so one second. Okay, at this juncture, this guy's pretty upset about his current situation, so I've got two options for getting him down to the ground. I can bring him down and have him land, or I can just simply yank him out of the air. Uh, these props are beastly, by the way, so I'm actually gonna try to bring it down to land. There we go, and it's gonna confirm landing low battery. And this should uh, should land just fine. Let's see if it does that. That was easy peasy. Not even a hand to drop. Oh, there's an awesome cargo ship coming right now. Bummer. Uh, oh, well, we'll get it next time. With that, hope you found this interesting useful. If so, go ahead and like that like button at the bottom there or hit subscribe for more sports technology goodness. Have a good one.